Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, you're welcome. My name is Anissa Fon and if you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified each and every time I upload a new tutorial to my channel. If you're all member, you're welcome back. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you on how to draft a high waist short pan pattern. This tutorial was a requested one, so if you want to know how I go about it, keep on watching. This short pan we're working on, it has elastic at the back and the front is normal band, okay? It has no zipper. And so you can see the way the thing look like. So let's just go ahead and start up with the pattern. First thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and draw a straight line, which is my guideline, as well my waistline. From that waistline, I'm going to go down by two and a half inch. You can go down by three inch is fine, okay? Two and a half inch. I'm also going to mark it up here. After doing so, I'll just go ahead and connect it with a straight line. From that two and a half inch, I went down. I'm going to start taking my measurement from there. Now I'll go ahead to mark my crush deep line measurement. To get the crush deep line measurement, you divide your hip measurement by four. Mine is 36. 36 divided by four will give me nine inch. And then from that nine inch to get the hip deep line, you go up by two inch. It's a standard measurement for every body. After doing so, I'll just go ahead to level it up the waistline, the hip deep line, and the crush line next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead now to measure the length of the short which i'm going to work with which is 15 inch and connect that up with a straight line this two inch i went down is going to serve to give us the high waist uh short pan you can go down by three inch like i did mention before okay now what i'm going to do is to take that uh one quarter of my hip which we had before which was nine inch i'm going to mark that up then i'll also do the same thing right there and i'm going to connect it up as well here i'll go ahead to connect it up with a straight line like you can see me doing how do you get your crush deep for a high waist? First step is you're going to take your hip measurement and divide it by three. Whatever you have, that's the crush deep measurement. The second step is you take your hip measurement, divide it by four, then you add three inch to it. Both ways, you're going to get the same answer. Now, for us to get our crush extension, we simply go ahead to take one quarter of our hip, which mine was nine inch. I will divide it by two, will give me four and a half. Then I'll divide again four and a half by two, will give me 2.025. I'll go ahead to connect it up. You can use your free hand, armhole uh, calf ruler or a French calf ruler whatever you choose to do is fine okay I'll just connect it up like that and now this pan i'm working on it has no zipper and it is not a fitting pan it has a normal band at the front and the waist is with elastic okay if you're making this one you just have to leave your pattern like this then you continue at the length of the short so i'll just simply go ahead to measure up whatever i have here which is uh 11.25 i'm going to mark it up here if you want it to be kind of uh this uh flyer you just go ahead and add an inch you can add one inch to it like the first one i just did here so you can see i added one inch to it but if you want it to be a normal like the one i'm making right now you go ahead this same measurement i took which is 11.25 i'm going to mark it up here like that and i'll just connect it up like so remember i said this pan is a free pan you can see it for yourself okay go ahead and cut up your pattern like this if you're making that free pan i have here but if you want to make something fitting next thing you want to do is just to come here like this on this uh, waistline i will mark up the waist measurement therefore around my waist is 26 26 divided by 4 will give me six and a half i'll be adding one inch for the dark just go ahead and connect it up like this I'm going to connect it up like that 
as you can see next thing i'll do is to go ahead now measure up whatever i have here at this top part i'll divide that by two which is seven and a half divided by two give me 3.075 i will mark that up then i'll connect it up with a straight line as you can see after that i'll go ahead to mark up my dark of half inch in half inch i'm going to go down by five inch like so and then i'll just go ahead to connect it up like so like so after connecting it up now we need to minus our waistband from this pattern we have here okay i'll go ahead i'll be using a waistband of one and a half inch I'll mark that up and I'm going to mark that up and I'll connect it up like so. But we have to go ahead to extend that dark because you know the dark normally doesn't get to the waistband. See the way I'm doing it, I just connect it all the way to that point like that. Now, uh, like I said, if you're making a fitting pan, you have to go ahead and cut up your pattern the way you will see me doing but first of all i have to level it up the front i'll just go ahead cut up my pattern like so i'm cutting from the black line see normally i decide to uh, cut this uh, pattern with a slow mo so you can see what i'm cutting because someone was saying that ah, i'm too fast when it comes to cutting but you have to understand that if i don't do so the video is going to be too long and when it's too long a lot of people don't like long videos so i try to like speed it up so it would not be too long so what i'm going to do now is to go ahead i'll be cutting up that waistband what i did was to go ahead and place up my front pattern on another piece of paper and I also cut my waistband out. Now I'll just go ahead to pin up my front pattern so when I'm working on it would not move. After doing so I'll go ahead to connect up my crush extension for the back pattern and also remember that we do not add any allowance when we are drafting up the front pattern so i'm adding two inch here i will do the same thing here two inch and two inch you can see me green and then at this top i'm going to go ahead i will go up by one and a half inch this depends on how hippie you are right then i'll just connect it all the way to the hip line like this as you can see you see what i just did here now we have to go ahead now connect all our two inch then making sure i have two inch right there mark that up we'll connect that up i'll connect it up like that with my french calf ruler you can use your free hand why we checking it to make sure i have that two inch i did mention before like so then this other part, I'll just go ahead and pip all the way to the top like that. Then I'll connect the downer part like so. At this downer part, I decide to go in just by one and a half inch and connect it up like that instead of two inch. Then I'm going to kind of uh, follow up and trace up this side. It's the same with both the back and the front, the side seam and the length is the same. We're going to connect and cut that up. You can see the way I'm taking my time and cutting it so you will see and follow up each step. You see what I'm doing here?
go ahead to remove up my front pattern from the back pattern then I'll hold my pattern up so when I'm working on it should not move I'll go ahead now to measure up whatever I have here and divide that by 2 which is uh, 10 inch then divided by 2 will give me 5 inch and mark that up I'm going to draw a straight line all the way like that. I'm going to go in by half an inch and half inch. I'll be going down by six inch. Remember the front we went down by five inch, but for the back we're going down by six inch. Here is the back pattern. I'll be cutting two pieces of that and cutting two pieces for the front. We've come to the end of this tutorial. I really appreciate you all for watching so far. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share. I hope to see you on our next day. Thank you so much. Bye.